We have the Byton presentation from CES 2019 at Las Vegas. The presenters will explain exactly what the company is about and what new technologies the vehicle will offer. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CES Las Vegas, the largest startup event on the planet. Welcome to the Byton Press Conference. As this is for most of us the first event in this fresh new year 2019, I'd like to use the opportunity to wish you all a happy new year. <laughs> Many of you have been with us right from the start and witnessed the Biden journey so far. And as you've seen in this film, it has been quite an exciting and fast paced journey. One might say we're on a fast forward to the future. I'm part of this journey. My name is Henrik and I'm the vice president of marketing at Biden. And here with, I welcome you to the future. To that we say, it's about time. It's about time that we all, you and I, stop wasting time while being stuck in traffic. It's about time that all facets of your digital world finally coexist in your car. It's about time because, yes, time is of the essence. Once spent, we are not getting any of it back. It's gone forever. This is why we at Byton are dedicated to giving time back to you, to taking the downtime, the lost time in traffic, and making it more enjoyable and productive. We are dedicated to giving you personal time to be yourself. We create time for you by leveraging the newest technology available so that you have your personal time to be. I see many familiar faces and also many new faces, which I truly appreciate. So to our old and new friends, thank you for joining us. You might recognize another familiar face with us today, the Byte and Mbyte concept, our first model we introduced here at CS Las Vegas last year. Today, it's here with the next member of the Byte family. Introduced last year at CS Asia in Shanghai, our second model the Byton K Byte. And today, we're here to share with you the next phase of the Byton journey. And to officially get our journey underway, please welcome our chairman of the board, our CEO and co founder, Carsten Breitfeld, and our president and co founder, Daniel Kirchert. Thank you, Henrik. Wow, so many people around here. So many people interested in Biden. This is really exciting for us. So I would, give you, would like to give you a warm welcome to all of you, being investors, potential investors, media, customers, and fans. There's one guy I want to mention, and especially uh, I met him some months before on a tech conference. And I was surprised to see his, his understanding of uh, the future of mobility and of startup mentality and culture. Uh, the interesting thing is he had been world champion in Formula One in 2016. His name is Nico Rosberg, and we are very honored that you are joining us today, Nico. Welcome. Okay, once again, welcome to all of you, and Happy New Year. Yeah, it feels amazing to be back to uh, CES for the second time. I also wish all of you a Happy New Year. So the Biden team has, be, has on an, been on an incredible journey since we founded the company in 2016. In 2017, we officially launched the Biden brand, and exactly one year ago, we stood here on this stage for the world premiere of our Biden M-Byte concept. Yes, and today, after one year, we now have two vehicles, the Biden M-Byte and also the Biden K-Byte. And what you see here, the Byton m -Byte concept is 80 to 90% representative of the Byton m -Byte, which you will see on the road by the end of this year. And today, our vision, which inspired us originally to set up this company, not even three years ago, to make the time you spend traveling by car more enjoyable and more productive, will become a reality in 2019. It's the introduction of the Byte and M Byte. In 2019, it's about time we deliver on our promise and we bring our vision to reality. So, how could we achieve this? 
To design and develop the Byton M-Byte, we built upon our extensive automotive expertise and we created a tech company with digital technology as our core competency. To achieve this milestone, we went from thinking mechanically to thinking digitally. And the innovative and stylish Python M Byte delivers our vision. So ladies and gentlemen, please make up your mind and take a look. So the Byton M Byte brings what we call the smartphone moment to the world of mobility. And it's doing so by combining two state-of-the-art platforms. The first one is our EV platform. It has a range of uh, up to 325 miles, along with an affordable starting price around 45,000 US dollars. And doing so, the Byton M Byte provides functionality and capability for everyday usage. And it is ready for level three autonomous driving. The second platform is our own open digital cloud platform, which we call Byton Life. And Byton Life connects your applications, your data, and your devices to one ecosystem. So together, these two platforms transform those four wheels into what we call the next generation smart device, integrating all aspects of your digital life all while on the move, or while standing still in traffic jams, or whenever. So in other words, the Byton M Byte could become the most important device in your digital life, and we are very much convinced, convinced that it will do so. The Byton M Byte reinvents and transforms your journey through the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Yes, and Thanks to these two platforms and their flexible architecture, this and all future Byton vehicles will be capable and ready to embrace the mobility mega trends, including electrification, connectivity, autonomous driving, ride sharing, personalization, and even the unimagined trends of the future. In a manner of speaking, the Byton platforms are timeless solutions because they are updatable. This open-ended, flexible architecture makes Byton a truly digital company, more than a traditional automotive company. In essence, we are a digital startup. We think digitally. It's all about ultimate customer experience and user experience. It's in our DNA. And we are less attached to legacy solutions more focused on being nimble, agile, and finding creative solutions to mobility. We are also a global company that leverages locations with the best infrastructure, and we go where the best talent is. Our journey continues to be one of expansion as we are building our global footprint. <clears throat> During 2018, we tripled our talent pool growing from 500 to more than 1,500 employees. And this is a very diverse group of highly talented, highly passionate, and dedicated 
automotive engineers, user interface engineers, software developers, vehicle designers, and so on, from more than 20 countries. Thank you so much, Daniel. <clears throat> so how could we achieve all this? By thinking digitally and acting globally, we have just managed to bring MByte into a reality in only 28 months. A traditional company requires 48 to 60 months to take a vehicle from concept to production, just to give you an idea how a traditional car company is working. And in fact, when Byton MByte will roll out of the assembly line later this year, it will be only 39 months in the making. And I hope you would agree that we could really call this speed to market. And it will be loaded with innovative features and capabilities. The Byton MByte is the first car to propel full connectivity on the go thanks to multiple antennas, great bandwidth, and 5G compatibility. And there's yet another first among firsts when you rethink the car, you must start with a clean slate. And when you put the users, so I'm talking about the driver and, and, and all the passengers, at the center of your rethink, then you will discover new possibilities. And when you think of the car as a central part of a user's smart device ecosystem, then the result can really be revolutionary. And that revolution is our Byte and MByte. It will completely change your in-car experience thanks to groundbreaking user interface, new user interface, which is bold, intuitive, and intelligent. And now it's about time that you see what you will experience once you take delivery of your Byte and MByte and sit inside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a world premiere. No one saw it before. I'm happy to present you the serial production user interface of the first Byton car or Byton M Byte. Enjoy.
So ladies and gentlemen, this is not science fiction. This is what the Biden Ambite will deliver. It gives me and the entire Biden team a great pride to announce that this highly intuitive user interface is truly ready for production. This user interface features a number of industry firsts from a technological standpoint. The centerpiece is our, we call, shared experience display, which is a 40-inch display, the first 40-inch display ever fitted into a car. The curved, high-resolution high display presents vital driving information, like, such like vehicle performance and navigation and so forth. But it also displays digital content, such as entertainment, productivity tools, contacts, health data, and all the digital products and services you are come to expect. The driver controls this display using another industry first. And this is a seven inch multi-touch screen driver tablet, complicated name, which is mounted in the middle of the steering wheel. And it will stand still while the steering wheel rotates. For a full interactive access by the front seat passengers, there's a console mounted holding an eight inch high resolution multi-touch screen, which we call the Biden touchpad. And this system is the first of its kind to give driver and passengers five interaction points with the car. So you can use touch, voice control, facial recognition, hand gestures, as well as a reduced set of buttons. Finally, all of this functionality is made possible by the first Byton operating system, which we call Byte OS. And this operating system brings digital content to life. Indeed, <clears throat> when customers first encounter this amazing, highly intuitive user interface, they might think, it's about time that a vehicle made my time more productive. It's about time that a digital ecosystem incorporated all aspects of my digital life. And it's about time that all those features are incorporated in a stunning interior design. So ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to have a closer look to this great design. And there's somebody here to talk about this great design who can do it better than anyone else. It's our Vice President of Design. Let's welcome Benoit Jacob. Thank you, Karsten. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. When we, exactly one year ago, revealed that the Embite concept here on this very stage, uh, I must say that has been a truly exciting journey for the design team. And but what I can also tell you is uh, we, of course, uh, revealed uh, left alone this car, uh, many of the images of this interior. What you see here is the concept car. And I can tell you, over the last year, uh, talking with some of you, media, uh, friends, colleagues, no one would really believe uh, that we would bring uh, what you see here as reality. No one would believe we would be able to bring such of a large screen and the components or the user interface that Dan Carsten just described. But what I can tell you, or confirm again today over the picture that you just say, uh, saw, we just did it. And uh, there's a small morphing that demonstrates that. Uh, it takes just a second. Uh, that really demonstrates that uh, this interior is no longer uh, uh, reality. I need to see now the next uh, morphing. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. And look at that. This is the production interior. This is really what we're going to bring uh, at the end of the year in the street. And this is, I must say, uh, probably as a designer, I can speak also for my team, this is probably the first time ever. Typically, a show car will promise a lot, uh, and you will eventually uh, find back in the production car some very small details, maybe some hints, but never the big picture. And this is truly unique. That's also the mission that I gave to the design team to simply do the production car better than the show car, make it more futuristic, make it, of course, safer, make it also ergonomically better. This is the task that we uh, simply took. It's a big challenge, but we believe that we were able, actually, to make a step further in terms of design refinement against this concept car. And this is truly new. And this is, in a way, 
like uh, really like this vision of what is a smart uh, device on wheels. Huh? This really uh, reflect uh, this in a very uh, cohesive manner. And if we look into detail, uh, zooming to the, the STD, uh, this is uh, exactly the very same screen as this short car. This is exactly the 48 inch wide screen uh, down to the last pixel. This is the same component, and actually the component that we had in this short car was already the target component. That was also what makes us like, very different against some other company, where we really uh, use the short car to develop and implement what we really believe in. And then uh, this screen is, of course, meant to deliver the digital content, uh, as you, Carsten, already described. Of course, the traditional uh, content as like navigation, multimedia, or vehicle information, but it was also uh, designed to integrate uh, some future use cases. Huh? Uh, for example, uh, the car is designed for a relatively long life cycle, as always, but digital products have much shorter life cycle. And uh, this makes us like, very future-proof in such a way we will be able to update at a very regular uh, time this vehicle. So it's not designed for the next, next seven years, but instead uh, designed on a day-to-day uh, basis. And the screen is exactly made for that. Another uh, detail, uh, if we zoom now to the steering wheel assembly, uh, which is also something that no one did believe that we would really bring that into reality, and what you see here is ag again the very same concept, the driver tablet uh, right under the finger. This will give you access to control, of course, the main functions of the car, the basic functions. Uh, we just added to it uh, a couple of other functions. You see either side uh, some uh, art keys, uh, which we thought also were necessary for quick access uh, to main functions. Uh, you can also see uh, behind the steering wheel some stalks, uh, because we simply believe like uh, some conventional or bulletproof solution are also meaningful for a good user interface. A good user, in, uh, user interface does enough to reinvent everything. Uh, it has to rely also on proved and safe solution, and this is the case of these two uh, stalks activating respectively, like blinker and uh, uh, the wipers. And uh, below the touch uh, pad, uh, you of course see uh, also the airbag, eh? because now this is the production car. It had to go slightly bigger, of course. Eh? This is the full size volume airbag, and uh, this is what we were able to integrate, uh, I must say, in this masterpiece of engineering. Then, uh, moving to the center line, uh, we have like another device uh, that Carsten just described. Uh, this is, let's say, the, the driver, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, the central. Uh, touchpad. This is essentially uh, aimed at the passenger. The driver, of, of course, can use it, but he has already his own little tablet. Uh, this is more for the passenger. And although like, you will be able to interact with this vehicle uh, by voice or gesture control, uh, you have to also rely sometimes physically, interacting uh, physically with the, the vehicle and controlling the different functions uh, over the touchpad. And then uh, when we move up, uh, we see another unit, uh, which is quite of interesting, uh, that looks a little bit like a spaceship, actually. That's the way we described it within the design team. And that integrates, again, another set of functions. Uh, you will, of course, need the air vents at the right position, at the right height. Uh, comfort is also paramount uh, when it comes to uh, the driving experience. And you see below uh, that we integrated uh, the Pierre and the uh, buttons. It's very simple. It's not far away from the steering wheel. It's again the perfect ergonomic position uh, within reach and uh, relatively intuitive, relatively simple. Just some button to uh, press. You don't have to open a, own a manual to understand how intuitive this car is working. And uh, you may probably wonder uh, what is sitting on top of this old unit. Uh, there's this like, sort of design element. Uh, it is actually a safety device uh, in the form of like a camera system which will monitor uh, you as a driver whether you are attention or not in the case of L3 uh, autonomous driving because we will uh, of course offer this car with that level of autonomous, uh, autonomy and uh, now we clearly see how we reflect also our design strategy, uh, which we call new semantic. Uh, I already shown you uh, back then uh, how uh, the new technologies such as autonomous driving and digitalization will influence uh, car design, and this is a very concrete way uh, that we demonstrate today. And all in all, uh, if we zoom back uh, to the, the overall picture, 
we of course wanted to do also an interior uh, as a premium brand or re that reflects a premium brand. So it will be crafted also with the nicest material. We will, of course, uh, bring some innovative material, but also traditional craftsmanship such as leather. And this offered, of course, in a variety of colors and finishes. Uh, what you see today is only one of the variants, but we will be able to offer many more. And on top, uh, we will, of course, you know, like all this whole interior is designed uh, to really comply with all uh, of the hardest safety uh, requirements worldwide. This car is really designed for the whole uh, world uh, safety requirements. It integrates, of course, airbags and all these sort of things. And again, to stretch that, this is no longer a show car. This is no longer a show business. This is what we will now deliver. But uh, now, uh, to conclude shortly, uh, it would be now more important to know what can you really do uh, with this vehicle, because what you see is, of course, uh, I believe interesting. But I think even more interesting is what is exactly the experience that you will be able to achieve or have uh, within this car. And I would like, for this very reason, uh, call on stage uh, my two colleagues, or call back Enric and Abe Chen. Uh, we, we will uh, basically give you a clear insight about the user interface concept. Thank you, Benoit. Thank you. Thank you, Benoit. <laughs> Woo, what a great time to be alive, right? With all the technology development going on, it seems anything is possible. There's so much going on, actually, that we easily get distracted. Our goal at Biden is to use technology and at the same time reduce distractions. In other words, Biden's goal is to generate meaningful innovation, meaningful experiences, better experiences in your vehicle. At Biden, we are not making changes for the ch sake of change. We don't pursue technology for its own sake. <clears throat> you might think of Biden's philosophy this way. Technology is developing very rapidly in multiple areas, we all know. Simultaneously, consumer demand and expectations are increasing. Where those lines intersect, this is our focus. This is where we find meaningful innovation. At Biden, our focus is on users. Our focus is on you. Specifically, our focus is time, providing you with more enjoyable time. Essentially to that is collecting data and using it intelligently. Every Biden user gets a Biden ID, which aggregates all of your data in one place. The more your data you share with your vehicle, the share with your other users, the more data you share with your friends, as well as more Bidens on the road, then the more that can be done with all those data points. Collected, reorganized, correlated in the cloud and shared with the vehicle. All focused on generating meaningful experience for you. Now we're gonna talk about artificial intelligence. We're talking about artificial intelligence, machine learning, to a level never seen before in a vehicle. Let's look at a real life example. Something you might be familiar with. Say a couple is on the road, it's near dinner time. Each person has a different food preference. What they ate for lunch today or dinner yesterday. Mary might want seafood. She's thinking about fish, taco, shrimp, lobster. At the same moment, Peter's hungry, right? Peter wants a filet mignon or ribeye on the bone with a, maybe a nice baked potato. Think it lead to disagreement? Have you ever been in this situation before? Now imagine your Biden knows all this information up front about you. It knows the time of day, how long you've been on the road, your destination, how much longer your trip will be, what you like to eat. And your Biden is able to come up with a dinner recommendation or options. Your Biden could even ask if you would like to make a reservation. This leads to less stress fewer distractions, higher quality of life. It's a seamless experience. Your buy makes a connection, a meaningful recommendation for you. This might sound theoretical, the far off future. I assure you, you're Biden making a dinner recommendation or offering you options. This isn't something of the research lab, or the movies, or the future. At Biden, the future is now, and here, is what's going to look like. Ready now, baby, here I come. Alexa, what's my weekend schedule like? 
You have Greta's birthday party scheduled for tomorrow. Right, I need a gift. Alexa, let me see some Paris city guides. Here are the top rated guides. Option three looks good. Impressive ratings. Okay, your order has been placed and will be delivered today by 5 p.m. Alexa works like this in your home already, and now it works in your Biden, perfectly integrated into the Biden Live ecosystem. This is a major step from the voice-activated infotainment systems in today's cars. Imagine the possibilities of taking voice recognition to this next level. With Amazon Alexa readily recognizing individual voices, it's possible. Open my playlist on Amazon Music. Hey Alexa, open my playlist on Amazon instead. Alexa, share with Amelia. Alexa, back to my playlist, please. Alexa, show my playlist. <laughs> Alexa, back to my playlist and play One Man. <laughs> my playlist, your playlist, doesn't matter. That level of voice recognition shows how good the Byton Amazon Alexa technology really is. And when you have a Byton ID, the car doesn't you just recognize your voice. It knows your preferen preferences all sorts, from your seat and mirror positions, to your home and work address, your calendar, and of course, your music and preference in playlists. In your Byton, Alexa will be able to provide information and also take actions for you, such as ordering products and scheduling services. We're working with Amazon to leverage the full potential that Alexa voice recognition and response can offer in the unique setting of a vehicle. What you just saw here is what the technology is today. And together, we are imagining what the future will be. Ladies and gentlemen, when you head over to the convention center on Tuesday when the shows are open, Make sure you visit the Byton booth and also the Amazon Alexa Auto booth. At both displays, you can get a closer look at the Byton m -Byte and how the collaboration between us and Amazon is actually looking like and how we are building the future of digital interaction and vehicle integration. With all the data we are collecting and using, you might be wondering what about data security. Byton systems and process go beyond hardening. This is Byton has brought you together the best in the world for car development, digital technology, and UI UX, we've tapped the best of the best in data security to create Biden Security Lab. Team members from the US, Germany, Spain, India, Australia, and many other countries have joined us with expertise in wireless Android security, iOS security, and of course, automotive security. One of the team members literally wrote the Car Hacker Handbook. Also, Biden is the team that won DEF CON's Car Hack Village to capture the flag right here in Vegas two years in a row. The first year, the team received the DEF CON Black Badge. This is a super rare lifetime achievement that gives them free access to DEF CON. Think these guys are good? They're better than good. They're the best in the industry. When anyone talks about Biden, they're talking about world-class security. As Henrik said, when we first stepped on the stage. Biden's goal is to provide you with, the mean, with meaningful experience in your vehicle. If you're a developer or you have a product or a service that you think might be relevant to our users, we'd love to talk to you. Please email us at experience at biton.com. We're attracting talent from all around the globe, from the auto industry, Silicon Valley, and more. If you're ready for your next challenge, or have a technology you'd like to implement in our Biden Digital Life um, digital ecosystem, let's start by collaborating together. Reach out to us. Bring you or your product to the next level. Beyond providing you with meaningful experiences in your Biden, Biden Life also enables Biden experiences outside of the car. A prime example is our Biden app. At Biden, we follow a one app strategy. The Byton app is an all-in-one solution for all customer touch points. In the future, you will be able, of course, to have all car-related functions in this app. But we are not just launching an app and apps for every single functionality, as many other players do it right now. And then, of course, you're completely lost 
because there are so many apps out there that you don't know which app is, using for, uh, is uh, applicable for which action. So this is why we follow this one app solution. We sum summarize all relevant user applications within one central location, the Byton app. For example, you can use our visualizer. You can play with a Byton M-Byte concept already today. You can play with different body colors. Select your favorite one. You can also choose your favorite wheel design. You can move around a bit. You can change the interior color and open the doors to take a closer look at it. And you can, of course, select your favorite configuration from different angles. And with the augmented reality mode, you don't have to imagine what the Byton m -Byte looks like. You can experience it anywhere in the real world. For example, in front of your house, or also here at fabulous Las Vegas. Just place the car at the preferred spot. You can rotate it. You can move around it. You can open the doors and get closer to look at the interior. And you can even step into the car, sit in it, to explore the beautiful details Benoit and his team developed. And of course, another opportunity, if you would like to become one of the first Byton owners, and after the show, maybe this is the case, just download the app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and place a reservation for free. Byton is a startup. Startups are challenging. Much of what we do is built from scratch. This is actually an enormous advantage because we're not burdened by ingrained ways of doing things. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time technology becomes more human. It's about time we gave you personal time to be yourself. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to call our colleagues, Carsten and Daniel, back on stage. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, last year, Biden has been on an incredible journey. And uh, for me personally, it's about time also takes on a special meaning after nearly three years. But now it's really about urgency and it's about holding our timeline for creating really a robust infrastructure that ensures we deliver on our promises. Well, I'm very happy to announce that we are making great progress and staying on track as we move toward the start of production of the Byton m -Byte at the end of this year. We are also very fortunate to have world-class partners and investors who support us in our efforts, because without them, it would not be possible what we are showing today. For example, FAW, First Auto Works of China, one of the most important vehicle manufacturers in China, became an investor in our company and is working for us, uh, with us on technical support and on part sourcing. Another great name, CATL, one of the world's leading battery suppliers, is our partner, became investor in our company. Then all the great names you know, Bosch is recognized, a recognized leader in powertrain technology and braking systems and in driver assistance technology. And as we saw, Amazon Alexa, as well as Baidu in China, which are working with us to expand the application of intelligent in-car voice control. Collectively, these great companies and many more have chosen to support the Biden vision through collaboration and co-development. And this network of partners really recognizes Biden's potential. They want to grow with us, they want to work together, and together we want to reinvent the car and mobility. And for that, we are really grateful. Yeah, we really have a great and passionate people in our team. And as Carsten mentioned, we're also building Biden on great partnerships. But there's one other essential ingredient to achieve our vision. I'm also very happy to share that Biden is well on track to secure a production license in China. If you're going to build a standalone, fully independent car company from scratch, you also need to control your R&D, design, manufacturing, and assembly. With this license, you will be able to control our own destiny, namely vehicle production, cost control, as well as planning for our future. 
In June 2017, we broke ground on a greenfield development in Nanjing. Construction is moving forward at remarkable speed since then. Our trial shop became fully operational in April 2018, and we built our first prototypes of the Byte and M Byte in May. The first running prototypes came off the line in August, and by the end of 2018, we built nearly 100 vehicles. Prototype testing began in June and continues to this day. Construction of the Nanjing plant and the surrounding supplier park is progressing well on plan. And by the way, we've just completed almost 2 million work hours in a safe way without any lost time. We are already installing now the equipment in the assembly plant and are on track to start production by the end of this year. And it's fully operational. Plant capacity will be up to 300,000 units per year. Now, with the trial shop fully operational, prototype testing well underway, and the state-of-the-art assembly plant coming online, Biden is developing every vehicle to achieve the highest global safety and quality standards. And we have been able to keep to our very aggressive design and build milestones for testing and validation, and also remain on schedule for the start of production by maintaining rigorous discipline throughout the product development process and by holding to our design-free states. And we are really proud of this discipline. This might not be normal for every startup. Because of this discipline, along with our flexible architecture of Byton EV platform, we can maintain a cadence of new products for the future. And it gives us the agility to quickly react to market conditions and changing consumer tastes. On that note, we introduced the Byton k byte concept last June at the Asia CES in Shanghai, and I'm happy to announce that internal development is now underway with a targeted market introduction of our k byte concept in 2021. The momentum is building and the pace is accelerating at Byton. We will continue to grow by expanding our global footprint, by adding to our talent pool, and by bringing new innovative smart devices to the market. Now, 2019 is a pivotal year for Byton. We are really proud of Byton's growth and our team's achievement in 2018, but we are far from done. The momentum continues in 2019. We have to move towards full market and retail readiness. Yes, and regarding retail readiness, on January 17th, that's just next week, the first Byton place opens in Shanghai. And this is where consumers will have the opportunity to see and touch the Byton m byte concept. And the Byton plates will also offer a look at the future of premium mobility. The Byton place Shanghai is the first of its kind, and many more will follow. It combines automotive and digital literacy to create an all-sensory immersion into the world of Byton. Within this inspiring space, visitors can interact with Byton product specialists, and they will be able to explore our innovative technology via virtual reality and augmented reality. And we will also be using this space to connect people, such as media, with our designers, engineers, and executives located around the world via interactive online presentations. For those of you who are coming to Shanghai, we sincerely invite you to stop by and experience the Biden place. And there's more than that. We will be sharing additional news about the Biden M production car in the upcoming Shanghai Auto Show in April. And in June, we will celebrate the Biden's M-Byte world premiere at the Byton Night at Asia CES. And finally, production of the Byton M-Byte begins as said before, end of 2019. And to say we say it's about time. Byton is reality. We are bringing to market a smart device on wheels that will help you 
make the best of your time while driving. And now, unfortunately, time is almost up for this press conference. Yes, and we look forward to sharing more of the Byton story with you at our booth at CS. And we are in the North Hall, booth 8515. Please stop by to get an up-close look at the Byton M-Byte and Byton K-Byte concepts, or to interact with the Byton AI tech wall, which you might have seen in the lobby before the press conference, and to find out more about the Amazon Alexa and Byton partnership. And also, we are very honored that the Byton M-Byte concept is displayed on the Amazon Alexa auto booth, number 7506, located in the North Hall. We are looking very much forward to seeing you at the Shanghai Auto Show in April. And now, before I invite the Biden team on stage, I would like to invite you to see us afterwards for interviews or questions or whatever you have. And I would like to thank you very much for being us today. Please, team, come to the stage.